Yum, yum! Welcome to this introduction to VisPack architecture for V-Ray and Octane in Modo. The original VisPack architecture for Modo was a collection of 95 material presets specifically designed for architecture. And these are high quality presets that are designed to hold up whether they're rendered from a distance or from extremely close up. So the entire collection has now been converted for use with either V-Ray or Octane in Modo. And for people who use third party renderers, this is extremely useful because not only can you use the 95 materials as they are, but you can also use them as starting points for your own materials by, for example, replacing the textures. But it means that you'll have the base materials correctly set up for the third party renderer, and this can save you a lot of time. So let's take a look at how you might use these materials in a real world scene. I've got a scene open here in V-Ray and I need to add some materials to it. So I can access the VizPack architecture pack by clicking this pink icon here on my Modo Modes toolbar. And you'll notice that all three of the VizPack architecture packs will come under the same icon just to save you some room in your crowded toolbar. So I'm gonna start by adding a wall material. So I've got feature wall material here, and I think I'm going to select a matte white wall. I'll just drag and drop that into the wall material. And next I'm going to add a worktop. So let's drag that into the black quartz worktop material. And finally, let's find something for the cabinet. And I've got a choice of three cabinets. Let's go for the satin and I'll just drag that into the cabinet material. And one nice thing about the VizPack for V-Ray materials is they're all compatible with the GPU. So I'm gonna hold down control and preview this using V-Ray RT for GPU. So the materials are now applied in the scene and we've got our RT GPU preview updating in real time. Let's just uh, make a change to one of the materials. Let's change the diffuse color of these cabinets. Just uh, make it a slightly bluey gray. So one of the great benefits of using these presets is that you can obviously customize them to suit your own scenes. You can change any of the parameters. You can import your own image maps to use as diffuse maps, to use as glossiness maps, etc. It just means that you'll have a set of materials that are correctly set up in order to be physically correct and also for maximum compatibility with the renderer that you're using. So I've now switched to the Octane viewport and I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of how you would apply and tweak presets using Octane. You'll note that in the Octane viewport, we don't have access to the Modo Modes toolbar. So in Octane, you'll need to use the regular preset browser. So I'm gonna hit F6 and open that. And I'm going to add a glossy cabinet this time. And rather than quartz, let's use granite. So let's grab this granite and put it into the worktop material. And then finally select a matte white paint for the walls. So uh, if I close the preset browser, you should see that my Octane scene has updated. And just as before, what I'm gonna do is tweak the color of these cabinets. So if I expand the cabinet glossy material and if I select the Octane node in the shader tree, if you keep your eye on the schematic view, you'll see that as I select it in the shader tree, it's automatically selected in the schematic so that makes it a lot easier to find your materials and to tweak them. So the big node that we have here is the main Octane material node and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select what's going into the diffuse color and here on the left hand side we have some properties so if I click that I should be able to set the color just as I did in V-Ray and you can see that the Octane viewport is updating in real time. So once again, it's very simple to make changes to the materials, but as you can see, everything is already set up for you and this is gonna save you an enormous amount of time, especially if you're relatively new to Octane. The VizPack architecture collection is the result of a substantial amount of work. My aim was to create realistic materials that people could just drag and drop into their scenes. And some of the materials are derived from photogrammetry and these materials are especially well suited to extreme close-ups, although all of the materials in the collection are designed to hold up when viewed extremely close. And so my aim here is to help you take all of the guesswork out of setting up materials for third party renderers by providing a collection of materials that you can use either as they are or to tweak to your own tastes and your own needs for your own scenes. So I hope that you find this collection useful and thank you very much for your support.